I'm Atrel Nishar in Washington. This month marked 1,000 days of Russia's war in Ukraine. And as we track developments on the battlefield, we're also watching how the war is impacting civilians inside of Russia. When Russian President Vladimir Putin waged war on Ukraine, he also sparked an economic battle for his own people. In February 2022, the U.S. and its allies quickly hit Russia with sweeping economic sanctions. We've cut off Russia's government from Western financing. And have kept them coming ever since. To compensate, Moscow has turned to China and India. Spikes in oil prices over the past two years have also kept Russia's economy afloat, even expanding a source of frustration for Washington. Here's what Dalip Singh, a leader of the U.S. sanction strategy, recently told 60 Minutes about their impact on Russia's economy. Let's be honest, this is not the nosedive that I predicted two years ago. On the surface, Russia's economy may appear to be a fortress, but underneath, the foundations are fragile. Fractured supply chains and massive military spending have ushered in high inflation. Right now, Russian prices are rising at a rate of 8.5% a year. For fruits and vegetables, it's 13.5%. Firstly, inflation. Overall, we can see no signs of its slowdown. To try to get prices under control, last month, Russia's central bank rose its interest rate to 21% and plans to go even higher next year. Devastating to prospective home buyers. One realtor from Russia who did not want to be named for security reasons told the Russian language outlet Current Time, the market is dead. Making all of this worse is the decline of the ruble, Russia's currency. This means Russians have less buying power, so high prices hurt even more. Right now, one ruble is roughly equivalent to one penny. Another economic headwind, a serious labor shortage as working age men are conscripted to the battlefield. Many of them won't return. It's true, for many Russians, times are especially tight. But the real price of this war is paid in lives inside Ukraine. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.